Definitely some much needed rain we've received these uh, past couple of days, but it's not doing a whole lot to help uh, with the ongoing drought. I was able to speak with a climatologist today who says it'll take much more than a few days or even a week of rain to get us back on track. The outlook for the next week or so is a little bit more promising, but a lot of areas, especially in the eastern half of the state, really have a large deficit to make up. So while this rain certainly helps, that's we're not uh, going to get out of the woods that easily with the pretty dire drought situation we have right now. The new drought map was just released yesterday, and eastern Nebraska has gotten worse. But that's not including any of the recent rain we've received. So Reganti says we could expect to see a slight change in the map next week. Hopefully. Hopefully this will at least stabilize the situation locally a bit. Hard to say exactly how much will improve until I get to look more at the data early next week. Unfortunately, he says it won't be enough. We're likely to see improvement, but very unlikely to see a complete removal of the drought conditions. Drought often takes a long time to get into and then a long time to get out of. Reganti says this drought has been building for years now, and a couple of weeks worth of rain will be good in the short term. It's hard to put an exact number on how much rain we need, but it'll take a significant number of events, not just one or two, to get us out of this. He says this severe of a drought is a rare occurrence, and it's the first time any part of Lancaster County has been in the exceptional drought category since they started doing the map 23 years ago. Right now, the city of Lincoln is asking residents to voluntarily cut back on outdoor water use. But the Lancaster Rural Water District is implementing a mandatory reduction in sprinklers by 50 percent. They say if customers don't do that, the district will ban sprinkler use for the rest of the year. The rain has been good for farmers, but extreme weather, like strong winds and hail, are bringing their own set of problems for them as well. Reganti says looking at the forecasts throughout the summer, it's possible that we could see some relief once fall comes around. But for now, people should continue to be cautious with their outdoor water use.